This is what the area around our planet looked like in the fall of 1957. That's Sputnik 1 going solo, the first artificial satellite placed in orbit around Earth, compliments of the Soviets. Oh, and Sputnik means traveling companion in Russian. Currently, there are over 1,200 operational companions in orbit, and almost 50% of them were launched by the United States alone. Sputnik spurred two great superpowers into the now famous space race. And the new technologies that were developed to make space exploration possible are still a major part of our lives today. No, I don't mean Tang, because that was invented by General Foods in 1957, four years before the first American hit space. Though Tang still has gone where few have gone before, the billion dollar a year sales club. Okay, but the space race totally gave us Velcro, right? Well, no. The Swiss did that in 1955. What we can thank NASA innovation for ranges from water filters to cordless vacuums. And the game changer? Baby formula, which contains a nutritional additive NASA developed for long duration space travel. Bottle not included. We owe a lot to our space cowboys. I can hang from the ceiling. This might explain why Astronaut made the top five on a recent childhood dream job survey. Right behind Lawyer. Wow, kids can be so serious. If you prefer the cosmos over courtrooms, you might end up training at one of the four NASA flight centers in the US. But the program's rigorous demands and limited number of missions leaves your odds of getting in at 40 million to one. That means you're more likely to get struck by lightning on your birthday than to become a NASA astronaut. That's not stopping one group of fringe space explorers who decided to avoid NASA altogether and go directly to Mars. Temperature is 16.4. The truth is, they're closer to Mars, Pennsylvania than to Mars, Mars. What surprised me most about being here is probably how close this is to being like Mars. I never would have known that driving out here would have led me to this place. This is one of three teams of top notch scientists and biologists competing at the Mars Desert Research Station in Hanksville, Utah a nonprofit group with the mission to train explorers and create a colony that one day will be able to survive the harsh atmosphere of the real red planet. It's nice to be out of the helmet. It's a bit sticky and sweaty. I am a soil scientist and here I am studying how we can grow vegetables and other plants in Martian simulant soil, as well as comparing it to earth soil. Carmel and the rest of the team are keeping a close eye on a bigger prize. The best team that performs at the end of the three sessions is the team that gets selected to go to the Arctic. That's right. The winning team of this two-week challenge gets a year-long trip to another simulated Mars colony. Devon Island in the Arctic provides the agricultural challenges that best simulate the hostile Mars climate, making it an even more demanding Mars testing ground 